everybody, my name is David and this is the Cartoon Fortress YouTube channel where we mainly talk about film and film collecting, but sometimes we talk about collector's books and that is exactly the case for today's video as I continue coverage on the releases from Bitmap Books out of the UK. The title that we are going to be covering today is a much smaller edition than basically all of the rest of their books in their collection. Um, but it's really, really great looking. This is Micro But Many, an unofficial Micro Machines collection. So as you can see here, uh, this is not a large edition. If you've followed my other bitmap books uh, videos on this channel, you'll know that those are in, in some cases considerably uh, larger than this, but I really love the presentation here. Of course, with the topic of micro machines and the book being a bit more um, micro size, I guess it is naturally fitting for this to be a smaller book. But although it is small in stature, um, as you can see here, we have a very thick book. So just reading some of the specs off of the back here, uh, we have over 1,000 beautifully photographed vehicles squeezed into 400 pages cool facts and stats on over 250 vehicles curated over six themed sections. A first look at loads of unreleased micro machines and never before seen prototypes and an un under the hood peek at the making of micro machines with exclusive insights from the creators plus plenty more secret surprises inside. Um, and I really like their additions how they come with these nice bookmarks. Uh, and on the cover here, uh, this is actually a lenticular cover. Um, so I'll give you a little bit closer of a look here. And I don't know if I can, yeah, you can see some of those animating. I love the lenticular cover on here. And then you see we have the sticker showing that we have over 1,000 micro machines. Now, micro machines for me, oh, and then let me show you the, the back of the book. And then there is our, whoops, flip it that way, there is the spine. Now, for me, when I was growing up, my brother that is just younger than me, we're only about a year and a half uh, apart in age, and uh, for us, Micro Machines were huge. So when I saw uh, the Bitmap Books had a volume available on Micro Machines, I immediately knew that I had to bring it into the collection. So it's gonna be fun to go back and revisit those memories. And I'm sure uh, some of the cars, some of the models in here will uh, will spark some nostalgia for me. Um, but we had a, a pretty large collection, my brother and I, and, and that was something that we just, we played together on a regular basis. So this is definitely a, a nostalgic book for me. And uh, my kids are into Micro Machines as well. so. This will be fun to look through with them and uh, just really excited about this edition from uh, Bitmap. And to take a closer look at this, what I'd like to do is switch over to the overhead cam so that we can take a look on the inside of this book so that you can be more informed if this is a purchase that you would like to make. And of course, as always, I will include links to the Bitmap bookstore in the video description uh, so that you can make that purchase again if that's something that you'd like to do. So let's go ahead and switch over to the other camera now. All right, so I'm really excited to get into this beautiful edition here from Bitmap Micro, but many an unofficial Micro Machines collection. But first I wanna make a really quick note here, and that is uh, two little items here that they included. Uh, the first is a Micro, but many bookmark uh, which is really cool and looks like it features. And I wonder if this is different on every bookmark that is shipped out, but um, or with every book that's shipped out here. But here we have the Ford GT40, part of the 10th anniversary collection from 1997. And then we get some stats on that particular micro machine. So that's a fun, and I love the, the color scheme and just art direction even here on the on the bookmark but really fun uh, little addition there and second uh, 
we get a sticker that's included, a Microbe Mini sticker. So fun to have those included. Now let's jump into the actual book here. And I'm going to uh, pull the shrink wrap off here so that we can get a better look without any of the glare coming off the book. All right, throw that all to the side. And then let's get a close up view here on the cover. So again, this is a lenticular cover. Um, so you'll get little animations here, which is really fun. And then on the side, so you can see this is a nice thick volume around 400 pages. And there is the back. So this is not lenticular on the back. And then here we have the specs that I was reading off earlier. If you want to pause, you can go ahead and do so and read over that. And then here is the spine. And then you can see here, in fact, let's go to the, to the bottom. So you have a colorful set of bookmarks included, which is uh, a really nice touch. All right, now we're not gonna look through the entire book, but I wanna give you a very good idea of uh, what you can look forward to if you do wanna pick this up. All right, so here we have a foreword by John Mashita Jr the Micro Machines man, and I do remember uh, commercials with this guy back in the day uh, with Micro Machines, so that's really cool that they got him for the foreword here. All right, so here we have a breakdown of the, uh, the sections in the book. So we have Unique Europeans, Awesome Americans, Cool Classics, Rad Paint Jobs, Cute Couples, Planes, Trains, and Snowmobiles. Uh, oh, sorry, I guess we should actually, well, no. Oh, so here we have pictures and words. Sorry, this is all uh, live here as I'm, <laughs> as I'm filming this. Uh, so that's pictures. So with words, we have introducing micro but many, making micro machines magic, if it doesn't say Micro Machines and the Galoob Old Days. Now, Galoob, if I remember right, is actually the company that produced uh, Game Genie for the old uh, video game systems. I remember with uh, Nintendo growing up, we had a, a Galoob uh, Game Genie. Um, so that's interesting. All right, and I love the, yeah, this, matches the bookmark that we're given, but I love the, the color scheme here and just the layout. It feels very much like Micro Machines and kind of has a, uh, definitely, well, definitely has a retro kind of aesthetic. So here we have the introduction and then uh, these are actual uh, size. So these are to scale, which is really fun. Here you see them next to M&Ms. All right, obviously these are bigger than the actual size. So really, really high quality photos, which is no surprise. And yeah, I remember bigger play sets like this um, just being everything as a kid. They were so much fun to play with. All right, and then I'll start kind of flipping through, just showing you what you can expect here. So really high quality, high res images of the car. So many different, uh, so many different cars to enjoy and not, not just cars. And that's the great thing. And I really love that we get uh, concept art here that accompanies the actual pictures of the, the vehicles. And then I think so here we have the molds that were used, and there go the, the bookmarks. You can see the nice multicolored bookmarks there. Um, or so these are, these are uh, prototypes is what I was meaning to say. Uh, so prototypes for the cars. 
more sketches and designs, um, some notes about the manufacturing, and then we have the cool classics section. More artwork with the, the prototypes, which is really cool. Some rad paint jobs. And yeah, some of these are definitely bringing back memories for me. So 1991, so this is I uh, even a few years prior to this, but 91 would have been uh, my the, the heyday of my micro machine collecting. So many great little vehicles. And here we have the commercials that I remember so fondly. I'm sure they had a lot of those airing during the Saturday morning cartoon blocks on television and after school. And then I love that we get uh, technical, uh, technical information on uh, the vehicles that they're going over here. So we get uh, top speed, acceleration, year first, uh, if, that they were first in production, and then uh, some notes on the scale. And I remember these that actually lit up with the headlights. I had several of those. But as you can see, for any any collector of micro machines or anybody that holds a special spot uh, for these in their memory, I mean this is this is just absolutely wonderful. All right. And then here we have a thank you and then our final index here and the back of the book, the end papers. And that is it. So that is micro but many. I hope that gives you a good idea of what you can expect in the book if this is something that you're looking to purchase. Um, this is a really solid, uh, nice and compact, um, but lengthy 400 page volume here from Bitmap Books with Micro But Many, an unofficial Micro Machines collection. All right, everybody, I hope you are as excited about that book as I am. I'm utterly impressed by the quality that comes from bitmap books on such a consistent basis. I think this is a really fun volume and definitely belongs on the shelf of any collector and obviously specifically if you're into micro machines you really can't do better than this. So I hope that if you're looking to make this purchase that this is a book that you enjoy and I think the chances of that happening are 100% <laughs> um, as this is just a, a really beautiful edition. Um, but let me know down in the comments if this is a book that you're looking to pick up. Let me know if you have any other titles from Bitmap. If so, what is the favorite in your collection that you've picked up? And I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you have any questions, comments, anything, please. I love interacting with the community. And until next time, my name is David, and I hope you have an awesome, awesome day.